All right, so let's open our template. And what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start by linking our buttons to the correct pages. So I'm going to click on Home, and I'm going to come down here to the link. And at the moment, it has some mumbo jumbo about JavaScript. I'm just going to click on the point to file. And remember that the home page is index.html, or HTML, and so that's where I'm going to put it. I'm going to go and drag the its history to the history page, the where it is to the where page, myths to the myths page, and then finally links to the links page. And if I were to command S to save, it's going to prompt me to update. And when it's done, I'll hit close. And I can go into my folder and open my index.html. And open my index.html. OK, let's try. Let's try Google Chrome. I don't know why it's going slow. Everything's going to open for me at once. Um, OK, there we go. So here I have it. And I you can see that the rollover works. I go to Hits History. And it's scrolling down. That image is fitting fine. Where it is, myths, links. So everything is working, OK? All right, so then what we want to do is we want to go to our template again. And um, you may have noticed that the background is white, which is kind of, um, it's, it's just very stark contrast compared to all the other green in here. So we want to give this a background color as well. I'm going to come down here to Page Properties. And notice here in the category I have Appearance CSS and Appearance HTML. They both do the same thing, they just have different methods of doing it. I'm going to choose Appearance CSS, and I'm going to put background color, and I'm going to put in hashtag 999966, and it's a slightly different color green than the green that's in the banner and the navigation. And you can see that when I do that, that it shows up here in my styles, as a property for the body tag. So if I hit save, it's going to say that it's going to save everything and update it. And if I wanted to go back to that page to refresh, there's what it looks like right now. OK? All right, so then what I'm going to do is I want to define what my text is going to look like. So I'm going to double click on title because that's an H1. And I want to come down here to the bottom of my CSS styles, and I want to do the little piece of paper with the plus that does new CSS rule. I'm going to click on it. And remember that the selector type is a tag, and it recognizes that I have that tag selected, the H1, and I want it to be a new style sheet file. Click OK. And I'm going to call this styles.css and hit save. Now, you may recall that all of the fonts that we have used so far has been Arial Black, both up here in the banner as well as down here in our navigation. So I think that's probably wise for us to use Arial Black, which I can find right here, as the headings. I'm going to click Apply so that I can see it taking place. And I agree, that's what I want to use. Now, the font size. I want to put in um, 26 point and I'm going to hit apply so I can see how it looks as we go. The only other thing that I want, oh actually two more things I want to do, the font weight, I actually want to make it a little bit lighter so it's not quite so thick. And then just for assurance I'm going to make the color black and I'm going to click OK. And there is my H1. Then I'm going to go ahead and highlight body content. And again, I'm going to add a new CSS rule for a tag. It recognizes that it's the paragraph tag, and it assumes that I want to put it in styles.css, which I do. I'm going to click OK. Now, I don't want to use this really thick font for paragraphs of text, because that makes it hard to read. 
So I'm going to come in and I'm going to use Arial Helvetica Sans Serif right there. And I like to hit apply as we go so we can see it. I like the way that looks. For the font size, it's going to be 14 point. Okay, so it's just a little bit bigger. And for line height, remember this is the spacing um, between lines of text. I'm going to do 18, which even if I hit apply, you're not going to really see any difference there. Uh, I'm going to leave everything else default. And I'm going to put the color as black just to assure that that is the color of our text. And I'm going to go ahead and hit Command S and update, close. I'm going to open my browser and I'm going to hit refresh. I have my background color. And notice that none of the styles have done. And that is because right here, Notice the asterisk next to styles.css. I didn't save it. So two things. I can click on that and I can do a command S or I can control click on the tab and choose save all. Either way it's going to save the CSS. Now I'm going to refresh and now I can see my text. And I do like the line height that I put in. I think that matches well.